All right, mm-hmm. so should we should we start now? Yeah, you can do your intro and everything. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't really have an intro, and I'm going to use that as the intro. So You can do go. your intro and everything is going to be your intro? Yeah, my intro is going to be you saying you can do your intro and me saying I don't really have an intro, and mm-hmm. that's the intro. So the this words. is podcast number six. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is podcast number six, the one with the best intro. Um. And yeah, we'll be discussing, basically, we'll, we're, we're going to start off with the Senna accessory discussion, mm-hmm. and then from there, we'll see where uh, our minds take us, because they have taken us to pretty uh, pretty interesting places, I think. Um, the universe's deepest, darkest corners. Exactly. Can or I talk Batman like I'm ASMRing? Because people like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go for it. I, I no, yeah, no, I no. get a lot of comments. I get That's a lot so of comments cringy. in that too. What'd you say? That's so cringy. <laughs> I get a lot of comments of people saying that they're they're uh that it's that we should just ASMR or like this, this is great ASMR. I get a lot of that too. But um Yeah. I I wanted to talk about Senna's accessory. Cause one well, I, right now I don't have it. Um, because mm-hmm. you have to do you have to do, do you have to start the story, or do you have to finish the story? What do you mean start the story? No, you have to finish normal mode. I think you have to finish normal mode. Normal mode of the new story. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, that would leave because I'm not. I th- I still have that story, both uh, normal and hard, and I have the invading army story as well. I mm-hmm. haven't done any of those, and I'm waiting till Kiske gets announced because I, I, if I have the orbs, I'm gonna want to spend them, and I don't want to want to spend them. You have to control so yourself. I I I for the most part, I'm good. I'm good at controlling myself, but I also like the the nice surprise <laughs> of uh. You right? <laughs> yeah. I'm just like that's what they all say. <laughs> I am. I really am. I'm. I'm really good at controlling my spending awards. I mm-hmm. really am. But um. But I do. I do like the feeling of oh no, I'm out of orbs. Oh look, I have this resource to pull from. And I know it's the same. Like if I do it now and if I do it then, I know it's the same. But mm-hmm. I like the feeling of hey, I'm not completely, you know, I'm not completely screwed yet. Oh yeah. So. And that's that's why I hold on to them, um, but yeah, but I do kind of want to do it just to get the Senna, Senna accessory. Although right now I don't really need it, um, but I wanted to talk about it because that gives power characters right now a an advantage, slight over, advantage. Yes, yes. I, I mean it's not that big. Well an okay advantage i mean it gives it's an advantage for mainly sp because 40 attack isn't that much because you could still pupples it i mean sure you'll keep your focus and everything but uh mm-hmm. you can still get more attack with pupples but it's mostly the sp characters that are winning <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah because like you said it doesn't affect really attack because you're right you can keep your focus when i guess the crit kind of helps on that but um, when it comes to when it comes to uh, SP, you can get ten more. Red mm-hmm. characters can now have ten percent more SP than uh, than any other attribute for now. And for now, yeah, mm-hmm. and it's it's and <laughs> I wonder why they had to make it red. I mean, I get because Senna is red, but because you know Toshiro wasn't strong enough. I exactly that's a. Yes, that is exactly my point. It's like, okay, you just made the character that is already, you know, everywhere in PvP. He's already mm-hmm. the toughest to beat. Um, and you just gave him a power boost that no other color can have. <laughs> so it's like, why? Why, Caleb? Why you do this? Um, but it does make me excited to see what they're going to add as the other items cuz you know this isn't a one-off thing right it's it's probably yeah, going to yeah of course like they can do I need diamond a soul duster badge. badge you use soul badge yeah like a oh, soul badge be... accessory oh that'd be great i don't know why I... there isn't one in the game you're right 
That and there's another thing that I don't know why it's not an, an accessory. I can't remember what it was. I was thinking about this the other day. I was like, why isn't this an accessory in the game already? I'll uh, come back to it if I remember it. But, um, but the oh yeah yeah yeah. No, it was the um, Yoroiki's flying machine thing oh, that you see okay. in like one episode, and it's like, oh, this is super rare, and it's a super legendary item, and it's super awesome. But this is the one time we use it, and that's it. And so it just makes no sense. Um, and then, dang, what was the? Uh, what was? Oh yeah, I wonder if they're gonna do it in for every movie or if it just if they're just going to do it from time to time like if they do it for every movie then probably how the many movies Rebellion. are there four yeah there's four so that would leave one item you know unaccounted for i mean they could add something else yeah or they can add like they can do one per movie do like uh what's it called like a diamond of rebellion do a blue one and then uh with rukia's do like an orange one and then helvers do a green one or whatever they decide to do and then when aizen comes out the new aizen comes out they can bring out his cha- uh, his uh chair uh, ch- his chair like in english his chair as the fifth one why would they bring out his chair though because, I mean, you can't have the chair as a, as a character by itself, and everybody loves Aizen's chair. Really? Mm-hmm. Why? I, why do you think they keep saying chair-sama, chair-sama? Everybody wants chair-sama. I just thought people were, like, you know, dumb. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I was like, okay, you know, BBS community. <laughs> there we go. No, it's because in... All right, because you didn't read the book. Um, and the, in the last arc, he's strapped to a chair the entire time because he's in yeah, a prison. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he's, uh, he's, uh, he's strapped to the chair and that's how he gets around until he finally gets released near the end. Gets around, and he moves with the chair. I don't know how he moves. I think they bring him over to where everybody's at. Mm-hmm. And then he, he literally just uses his reyatsu and like destroys a castle with it like just using that mm-hmm. and then uh and so so he's like you can see him do and he like cuts off someone's fingers with like while still strapped in the chair so he actually like does significant damage while in the chair mm-hmm. so people are speculating oh if we get him he's just gonna be eyes and floating in a chair or whatever but i think it'd be better if you know to get him out of the chair and then uh have the chair as an accessory and it would also be pretty funny. Out of all the things you can think of as an accessory chair. Listen, it's a very powerful chair. Okay? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I would I would love to have this chair in my room. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty powerful chair. I mean, we have gloves as accessories. We have a Santa hat yeah. as an accessory, okay? We can we can Yeah, do, but that was for Christmas. Do. Okay, I'll give you that. Let me think. What other really, really crazy? We have a candy dispenser. Uh <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. My I just... friends saw that and thought it was something else and I'm just like, "No, you sickos." <laughs> All right. <laughs> did they did they not play the game? No, like they have no idea what anime is. Like, oh, if I say funny. Pokemon, then they'll kind of understand, but that's it. <laughs> that's really funny. They're, yeah, no, so they're just like, dispenser. what is that? I'm like, it's an in-game item. They're like, what are you playing? I'm like, <laughs> <sighs> really? Is this what we're going to do? That's funny. Yeah. No. No. It was. <laughs> But the, I don't know how much longer, how much longer they'll have to wait. And like, I really hope this isn't the accessory that, like, they said they're going to add new accessories. I, I hope it's not this. 
Like, I like that they're doing it because it'll give you characters 10% more SP. But I, I really hope that this isn't the accessories they were talking about. Well, I mean, at least I don't have to fuse or summon for them. So I don't, I kind of don't mind. <laughs> That's true. They are free. They are free, mm-hmm. but you only get, you only get one though. Yeah, but I mean, again, I don't want to go through the gold chappy ordeal. All That's over true. again. Just yeah, that. that. I mean, I think it's gonna. I think it'll be a similar thing when they add the new accessories. I think <laughs> it's gonna be like, oh, we have this overpowered thing that you can get if you summon. Uh, and I mean, then also... if they make the rates better, then I'm kind of like, okay, fine. I've never summoned for accessories, like orb wise, so I don't know what it takes. Mm hmm. Mm. Like what? What? It's RNG. It's literally RNG. Like, uh, one of my friends did a single and pulled a thirty attack gold choppy. Dang. And then there's people who've summoned like three thousand orbs and not gotten a single one. The first one I ever did. The first one I summoned the blue golden choppy had a plus thirty attack. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> By the really? way, I can hear my s- yeah. The like when I summoned it, I, it was all premium tickets too. It's, so like I I don't spend orbs for accessories. I never do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the first time I ever did it, um, the first time I ever got one, the first blue golden chappy I got because I have two of them. That's the only thing I have. It had plus thirty attack, and I was like, oh, I'm super lucky. The problem is, I still have no one to use it on. Like it's still on my. You shoe don't seat. have blue Kenny. Not on that account. <laughs> Not on my GP. Um, you should summon for Blue Kenny's coming out with um Gun Ryu, right? Yes. I kinda wanna summon for Senna and try to get that Don guy. On JP though. Yes. Well, why not get Gun Ryu and then get Senna on your main? Well your other your global main, whatever. Uh because I I don't really want Gun Ryu. <laughs> I mean, I'll take them. You have a gold chappy. But Don Guy is in the other one, and his attack is pretty good as well. Oh, God. Oh, wait, I forgot you don't play for uh, progression. (laughs) For progression? I would say I don't play competitively. (laughs) Uh, I wouldn't use the word progression on that, because I like to progress. Uh Uh-huh. (laughs) Uh-huh. I mean, you're talking to someone who... Literally has a series where he takes older characters and two hundreds them. So like I I don't really care about competitiveness. No, not competitiveness. It's just like if I have like a gold choppy, I would want kind of like the best character for that gold choppy, you know? But that's I mean, me. I'll take I, I also Kenny. would not roll thirty defense on a Yuki though. I just I just do that to mess with you. I don't actually want the 30 defense. Now, when I roll 40 stamina, I'll usually keep it. But what, I don't really care for the defense. Uh, Cue endless dying noises. Cue <laughs> endless dying. I forgot that hurts you. That hurts your very being. Yeah, I'm just I've like... Insu- so I've insulted you to your core is what I've just done. At least if there were attack, at least I would be like, it's cool. You know what? It's fine. <laughs> I'll allow it, Martin. You get a pass on this. It's yeah, fine. You, you could do a hybrid thingamabob with this. <laughs> but yes. Thingamabob, yes, of course. Thingamabob, thingamabob yeah. Thingamabob, yes. But the, I, was, I was thinking about what accessories could possibly be, and I told you the one I thought of, and you, were, and, and you didn't think that would be. But I didn't tell you this other one that I thought. And I don't mm-hmm. think this is going to be. Because I, I thought about this. I was like, that'd be interesting. It'd be pointless. If they uh, if they did an accessory that swapped attack and SP. That but would then, break everything. That would what? That would literally break everything. Would it, though? Because, I mean, the only characters that would benefit from it would be characters like Ganryu that have a debilitator so like 
and it, he doesn't even have frenzy. So like the you wouldn't want to put that on anybody that has frenzy because then what's the point? You know, like the only so character it, that would basically this accessory takes away SP and gives attack. Like it just swaps the two. What this theoretical swaps? theoretical accessory like yeah. puts the attack to the SP. Puts the attack to yeah, it just makes the whatever the SP, whatever the attack is, it would make it the SP, and whatever the SP is, it would make it the attack. So, for example, uh, what's a character whose stats I know? <laughs> um, Toshiro, like manga Toshiro, would have uh, 749 or whatever he has attack, and 600 and whatever SP. Does that make sense? I can see it, kind of, a little bit. <laughs> it, but, but like, I, as soon as I thought about that, I was like, no, because, because it seems uh, too impractical. Like, it would it would benefit very few uh, characters. Yeah, it would. I, that, and that's why I dismissed it. I was like, it's it's, it wouldn't help that much. Um, it would help some, but then again, you could also. I mean, who knows what else they're going to come out with. I don't know. It's just like the things they can do and the things I they will do. they'll try not to completely, you know, unbalance like, everything. Do you think it'll just be an increase in stats? Because I think what they're going to end up doing with the accessories is going to be on the same level of attention tie or a same level as a... Uh, as a What's the other item that the the spirit core, spirit orb, whatever that is, that reduces the like? It's not going to be a a, a a stat changer. It's going to be like uh, that's very possible. Something yes, something like an accessory that does something rather than um, upgrade a stat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, we already I have remember a- that thing I talked about where I was like it leaned towards like chappy characters and then like you know the favoritism and then sp and then chappy and then now sp Mm -hmm. so i feel like they might bring something back that'll help the chappy characters because they're kind of surviving but (sighs) only very few of them are surviving yeah it's 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 pretty uh brutal like anything anything with dr or flurry will survive yeah but even then it's still again like the sp characters are dominating for the most part Mm -hmm. so part of me is just like will they give us something like maybe an accessory with dr see that would be interesting but Mm -hmm. that might also break everything because if you give someone an accessory with dr who already has 80 percent dr you're you're gonna create a monster. Who has eighty like, percent dr? Uh, ev- Just Grim Jow? No. Grim. Everything that has a Grim. I, I could think notable. Uh, it's notable. Grim Jow, Tag Team Koga, and Ryugen. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! I did it. But you know, if you give them even ten percent more, then they'd only be taking one tenth of the damage. They're already taking one fifth of damage. Yeah, but they can still get one shot by SP characters. Yeah, some of them can. Actually, not. Can they still be one shotted? Um, my blue Kenny can practically be one shotted, and he has full DR on. Hmm. It it depends. Like, see, the thing is, is that you need to count that there's three characters with frenzy and full screen strong attacks. So, if two of them hit you <laughs> and hit you That's hard, um, yeah, most of your team is pretty much demolished. So, what if on that same level, and I know I talked about this on an earlier podcast, where they do the Chappie thing, or they do an accessory that helps Chappie, but increases defense. But then again, no, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work. I because feel like S- we're so beyond defense at this point. I don't know. I, would, I wouldn't mind it. But 
it doesn't help against like frenzy 745 sp yeah because actually strong attacks bypass defense anyway so that really wouldn't help mm-hmm. um hmm i don't know i don't know but they said it's coming in december right uh end of december yeah oh, i can i can i can almost taste it so basically a month yeah, I could say a month. I mean, it's the 19th today. I guess tonight's 1am, so... It's the 19th, and then we still got... Hmm. We still got the whole month of these characters, because I keep forgetting it's a month. I keep thinking it's, like, a regular double chance, but it's a double chance in mid-month, and it lasts one month. It's just... It's weird what they're doing. I don't mind but it. But I like it. I like it, yeah. It's I like slowing it too. that, like progression towards you know completely broken characters that are gonna you know what let me not (laughs) (laughs) i'm excited though because that means that whenever you know kisuke and the new yoroichi come out they're gonna be broken as well and i I mean (laughs) i want that's what we thought about manga byakuya and he got kind of shafted yeah, he did, but he's still good though. Like people he's are like, good, he got shafted. He's not he got like shafted. Bro- he's he's not the broken he deserved to be. Because if you think about it, Pyakia is a very strong character in the anime, right? Mm-hmm. Like absolutely broken, but all, most of his characters are just kind of meh. That's true. The, I mean, the only decent one is the new one. Um, uh, honestly, the blue one is fine. If you if you have a gold chappy. The blue you're talking about Sunsu? Speed. No. Uh, oh the other one. Oh okay, I forgot yeah, yeah, that yeah, one's yeah. blue too. The Nad one. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. I gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. Well I mean everything is fine if you have a gold chappy. I was using well, tag team Rangiku with gold chappy because again I don't have good ex- blue accessories on that account. Uh, that's and- no no no. Your fine and my fine aren't two aren't the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you got a point. I forget you uh you 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 hate when I put a uh, attack on SP characters and SP on attack characters. I, no, you know what? I don't mind it if it works. Like I've told this story before, but when Grimjaw came out, um he had frenzy, okay? He has frenzy. I chappied him. I gold chappied him. I dr'd him. And guess what? He was wrecking oh, hold on, everything hold on. in PvP. I recently saw something where somebody said, where well, you said gross to somebody who had a chappy on their Grimjow. Not like, gross. I said, this? why would you do that? But I wasn't referring to the chappies. He actually put Ryuken as a link. <laughs> where I'm just like, Listen, bruh. Maybe- <laughs> in their defense, there's a chance they may not have had the uh they may not have had uh good accessories for Ryuken. So yeah, but it pains me. Cause I had <laughs> good accessories you. for him. I could I could <laughs> give him a nice home with nice DR and nice <laughs> chappies. Nice and cozy home for yeah, all and his he, Ryuken. He could needs. be happy forever with me <laughs> and my PvP team. But no, you know, he's linked to a Grimjow. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Like because it sounds like you're talking about, like, it sounds like you're talking about, like, a, a hamster that's in the circus. And you're like, more, I like give a him, child, more like a child, more like a lost child. A lost child. I can give yeah. him a loving home and I can feed them and make them dinner and everything. And now they're, they're stuck with, uh, they're stuck in this. It just sounds like you're talking about an actual person that's alive. But I don't know. I, maybe I should have tried for that. I'm glad that Ryukin is not a. Uh, well, I'm like the whole. Everybody in that gotcha. I'm glad they're not just going to be in those summons and not premium. Yeah, I I like unique uh, characters. 
would you also you like the fact that these characters are not going to be in premium? Mm-hmm. I'm going to skip call. I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> Nothing. Um, I... I I I could see I could see why I could see why and granted even if they're in premiums I never summon premium summons anyway and I never summon for non double chance anyway so I likely wouldn't get him any like I'm probably not gonna get Shinji Soifun or Ryukin anytime soon but I mean it's still it would be nice to to have that hope and now I mean I'm they hopeless. might come back. I'm sure they will, mm. but like I'm sure they will. They're, I I I'm pretty sure this is not going to be a one-off thing. No, like the, the, they, he's he's too good. They're they're all good characters to mm-hmm. like. We need more. We do well. We we don't need more one-off. <laughs> well, I do. It depends on endless it depends needs on, more. Give them to endless. Give it to endless. <laughs> Listen, I want the characters. I just don't like that. That I, I can't have them if I don't get them. I want them. Well, it is a gotcha game. Yeah. Yeah. I just hope they don't go, like, several months without releasing them. Like, what they're doing with the Blood War characters right now, the ones that are released right now, I feel like enough time has passed where they still, they're still they good not releasing them for a few other months. Like, oh, if yeah. They ca- yeah, if they release them again... Say like in March, mm-hmm. then at in March I'd be like, okay, that that seems like a good amount of time to to wait, you know, mm-hmm. like that many months is probably a good amount of time to wait. Like if they released them again right now, it'd be like, okay, it's a little too soon. Good that they did it, but it's too soon. Um, I don't want anyone else to have a Sajin. <laughs> 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 I want my one of a kind Sajin. <laughs> Really? That that's your that's that's where that's you stand, the child huh? in me, just like yeah. You're like no. Realistically, mine. I'm just like it's pixels endless. <laughs> it's a gotcha game. Relax, okay? <laughs> it's just pixels. You'll be okay. Hmm. I, I, I don't want anybody else to have Toshiro, and I'm not <laughs> saying that because I'm jealous. Too or late. I, well, Too I have late, Toshiro. Martin. Here's, well, no, I don't want anyone to have Toshiro because he's already uh, he's already everywhere in PvP. So it's not like uh, I don't want everybody to have my yeah, Toshiro. Yeah, like everyone and of... their mother has Toshiro. Not endless, though. No, not endless. Mm-mm. Well, if everybody and their mother has Toshiro, you should just ask your mom to give you the account. I'm just kidding. <laughs> she doesn't like mobile games. <gasps> Gas blasphemy. I know, I know. It's okay. We'll find a way to cope with this tragic uh, tragedy. Uh. I'm I'm currently grinding the uh, the Yoroichi raid on my JP, and I'm so dumb. I've been I've been trying to figure out where all these Yoroichis are coming from. These four star Yoroichis. <laughs> I was like, did I have them in my thing from a Yoroichi event and just uh-huh, haven't? Uh-huh. I, and just recently picked them up. I didn't realize until just now that they're dropping. <laughs> You you look. You probably thought like Caleb put them there because they're sending you a sign. <laughs> they're like, "Hey, Martin, here's Yoroichi because we heard you like her <clears throat> personality." Where are my Yoroichis on shit? <laughs> well, you're getting you, you're gonna get a bunch of Sajin. You're gonna get bombarded with Christmas Sajin because why not? <laughs> no, I want Christmas Grimjow. Christmas Grimjow. Yes. I don't want Christmas Sajin. Christmas Sajin is like a dog, okay? I don't want him <laughs> unless he's in what human if, form. I was about to say, what if it's Christmas Sajin in human form? Because then they can mind. very well do that. They can Would they can pref- all I don't know why K Lab is so sexist. Like they fan service for <laughs> the males. Okay. Not the females. White doesn't count, they're fully clothed, and Toshiro is there too. That's creepy. <laughs> but, like, I need a fan service well, for white the females. White doesn't count because they're fully clothed. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me? Is the swimsuit banner? Really? Uh, really? Listen, listen. 
I'm on your side here. I don't know why they're doing this. I don't mind that they're doing it, but I don't know why. It would make so much more sense had they released, uh, like, two male and two female characters for the swimsuits. I thought they were going to release one and one because at the time we were only ever getting two new characters. So I thought they were going to release one male and one female. But they, they dropped three new females, and I was like, oh, okay. And then I was like... <laughs> I was like, okay, it's Halloween, they're going to do it. Because there's only two male uh, characters for Halloween. And nope, three female characters. So I'm on your side here. I, I think I think they need to bring up more male, uh, yeah. male characters. I want OP, half-naked, mm. <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> Espada Santas, okay? <laughs> All I want for this, Christmas. This, that's the title of this podcast. Hold on, I'm writing it down. Oh, no. Es, what are you no, no, writing? No. What are you Espa- writing? Espada Santas. There you go. It's going to be episode six, of Espada course. Santas. Listen, <laughs> it, 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 there's nothing bad about the title. It's just, it's, you know, Espada Santas. <laughs> and you know what? It's appropriate because it's episode six and Grim Joe is number six. So there you go. I I am pretty proud of my last title. Memories oh yeah, ne- <laughs> the memories of Nemu's body. I inspire all these titles. <laughs> they really do. They all come from oh. your. Well, they they come from my mind, but you're the you're the inspiration. <laughs> Lovely. Hmm. Um, but I don't know that we'll get a Christmas Grim Jow. Like if they do <sighs> one. I don't think it'll be Grimjow, and I don't think it'll be Ukiora, because they've already done those characters. And I know mm. they've already done some of the other ones, if they're redoing them. Well, I'm just saying, there's, like, Holly Bell and, uh, the other Zylo Christmas Pro? characters, so I'm just saying there could be a next set of Espadas for Christmas. I actually think there's gonna be Don't another... say Soul Reapers. Don't no, say I don't think we're gonna get another Soul Reaper for Christmas. If, if anything, we might get one... One Soul Reaper, one Aronkar, and one human. We're definitely going to get a human. In fact, they might only do mm. one because because we haven't had... <laughs> what was that hmm for? We haven't I had was, a... <laughs> I was just thinking Ishin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You, um, you would make a nice Christmas character. Me? No. Ish, Ishin. <laughs> oh, he said you. I was like, what? No. I don't look good in red. Um... <laughs> It's not my I color. Think, I, 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 you'll never see me in red. In any video or whatever, I'm not wearing... I might wear orange. Why? I will not wear red. I Ew, just I hate look, orange. I, do, I just don't look... I only own I own one orange shirt, and that's why you might see me in orange. But, like, <laughs> I don't look good in red at all. Um, but... Tisk, what was it tisk. talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The... the, the like, we're, I feel like we're definitely going to get new humans at least one for each seasonal um mm-hmm. but i don't know what they're gonna do because this is the first time we see this is the first time we're gonna get a seasonal where they've already added new characters before so are they gonna add one new character to make it a total of three or are they gonna add three new characters wait who'd they add for christmas last year they added holly bell and Zylopro. yeah but that was last year Yes, I know, but I'm saying, like, because of that, are they going to add another three? Because then what are we yes. going to end up with? Let me... <laughs> I, I hope so. I really do. But let me see how many Christmas characters there are right now. Because you can only make a gacha so big until it just kind of doesn't work. Or you have to split it, it into two. It could be Grimjow, Ulfiora, <laughs> and uh, Noitora. Hmm. Yeah, but all three gonna be Espadas? Yes. <laughs> yes, why not? Mm-hmm. We currently have let me see, let me do this, make it make make counting easier. Because I'm lazy. We currently have one t- oh look, there's a Christmas shoe. I always forget there's a Christmas shoe. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. Six, seven. We have seven. Okay, ten. I could see that. I could see that. We have seven. So yeah, definitely make another three. Dang it! That means I'm gonna have to grind for orbs more because I'm gonna be summoning for Christmas. Ah. 
Dang it. Why does th- why do these good things have to happen? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know. I I need <laughs> a fan service for female BBS players, okay? Otherwise, I'm actually going to complain in the Kayla <laughs> live stream. <laughs> but to be fair, I mean, you say you want a, a Grimjow, a Grimjow. Grim- we have Parasol Grimjow. No, I want Fanta Grimjow. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we're probably going to end up with a Christmas Chad, which I don't mind because we need another Chad. Ooh. How old is Chad? <laughs> no, so, uh, what is it like? Aren't they all fifteen? No, they get older <laughs> you, in the time you, skip. You, you can't go in the past. Okay, then sixteen or seventeen, because they're all fifteen, and then the um, time skip seventeen months have passed. Martin? So at best, he's seventeen. I- Ichigo and Orihime may already have a child in the manga. Oh, you're talking about that, but that's not what. Yeah. that's not what we'd get though. That's not what we would get. We oh, okay, get, then like, no. Nope. Ultimate nope. Feature. Not down. Not down. So you, so you don't want to chat? <laughs> Mm-mm. Okay. <laughs> if he's older than me, Chad, yes. That's fine. All right. Or legal. Or legal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's taller than the rest of them. He might be older. If it's older, Th- Chad, he That might be doesn't 18. matter. I don't know. But uh, the, it, I mean, what other hum- we're either gonna get Chad or we're gonna get Tsukishima. I wouldn't mind a Christmas nope. Tsukishima because that would nope. be creepy, and that would be nope. awesome. That it'd be creepy. Uh, Gin- Ginjo, maybe <laughs> an elf Yukio. <laughs> elf? What do you mean? El- oh, because because he, he's not he's not big enough. To, he's just a kid. He's but he's not big enough to be a Santa or reindeer or whatever they're gonna do. I mean, he could he could be an elf. Yeah, yeah, that would be cute. An elf or I don't know. We need a five star. Uh, I feel like they're irrelevant though. Irrelevant. Yeah, but so is Ew. Riruka, and we got a swimsuit Riruka. No, she's not irrelevant. I think so. Uh, do you know how popular her tech version was with everyone? Oh, you're talking about irrelevant in the game. I thought you meant yeah. irrelevant in the series. Well, um, series and game, they go off both, really. But her you, tech yeah, was right. very popular, so. Are you talking about just a straight up pop? Well, I mean, there hasn't, there wasn't a good Grimjow until the recent one, but he was very popular. Which is why they need more. Come on, Caleb, cash in, cash in. Trust me, cash in on the, men on and jam. women, it, both <laughs> genders would appreciate a Santa Grimjow. I'm telling you right now, I have two <laughs> friends who call him daddy, okay? <laughs> and they're not female. I, hold on, I want to clarify this. I'm not one of them. I just want to, I want to put that out there. I'm not one of these <laughs> two friends. What was that about? <laughs> I, I was clearing my throat. <laughs> okay, okay. Just making sure that's all that was. You know, they don't want to... Is your, is your throat not clear yet? <laughs> I feel like you're taking a long time to clear... Do, you, do I need to get you some water? No, I have some. Okay. I, I would I would like wine, though. Wine would work. <laughs> some wine. Yes. I don't have wine, but I do have some chocolate milk. Oh, God, what am I, three? Martin, I'm 12. I'm old enough to not have to drink that. Okay. Okay, but I feel like you shouldn't be admitting you're 12 and also saying you want wine in the uh, in the same podcast. I, I'm a very complicated child, people. <laughs> okay, oh, it's it's a joke. Um, I'm over 21, so <laughs> I can drink. But for everyone else on YouTube, I'm a 12-year-old boy, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because it's funny every time you bring it up. It's I need to clarify it. I, it. That's the sad part is that you do. <laughs> you do need to <laughs> clarify it. Because then people will just be like, you know, 
you will, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I always tell my little sister she's six. I've been doing that for the last, like, five years. I tell my little brother he has the mind of a four-year-old because it didn't develop properly. <laughs> <laughs> you also he doesn't say think you would that well. You also say uh, you would you would trade your little brother in for so many things, so I don't. For a puppet, basically for free, just take him. He eats for, too much. For, for he eats too much. <laughs> he eats a lot. He smells. He's very expensive to upkeep. Okay, like. <laughs> <laughs> I I I hope he never listens to this. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I tell a good person to. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me clarify. Let me clarify so people aren't like, you're the worst sister ever. Um, I guess Armenians are kind of like, the way we show love is like tough love. We'll, we're like, we'll jokingly tease the other person, you know? And to someone who doesn't know, like, it'll sound like really rude. Like, oh my god, what is she saying, you know, to her little brother? But, uh... It, he knows it's a joke. So he knows when the, I call him deformed and everything. He's not actually <laughs> deformed and stuff like that. So the way so the way your culture basically works is you insult people till they love you. It, basically, yeah. It's it's All weird. Right. Like actually Vietnamese people do that too, where like their parents are kinda like they'll call them fat or whatever, lazy or this or that, but they don't actually mean it. It's just more of a tease than anything. Oh, so that YouTube video you showed me earlier today was basically a love letter. That's legit from yeah, that's actually To legit. Kathleen. <laughs> Poor well, Kathleen. No, that that was for Scottish <laughs> Those Scottish people I'll show you a different um <laughs> a different YouTube video where it's uh, Vietnamese parents, basically. <laughs> and I showed it to Nin, and he's like, this is so true. This is so true. My mom calls me fat, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, Nin, I don't think she's joking. <laughs> when did she do that? <laughs> I'm just imagining right now two kids asking their parents, you know. It's like, how did you guys meet? It's like, well, you see, you see little Timmy. When I met your mom, she called me fat and I called her ugly. And it was just love at first sight from then on. No, it's not like that. It's just more of like, I don't know. My brother will be like, come back. Well, he'll come back to the house like, oh, I forgot my keys. I'm like, yeah, you forgot your brain too. I get like, what you mean. five years ago. You know, I don't know what happened to him. Just like that. And he'll just like laugh it off kind of or like you know say something smart back but again as a joke of course of course <laughs> sometimes when we're talking to my parents i'll just be like mom i don't like him anymore can we take him back to the hospital i want a <laughs> refund like i don't what is this <laughs> <laughs> return him from whence he came from the stork. You gotta call the stork back up. Take it back, please. <laughs> what were you two thinking? <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> this this is the best uh, Brave Souls podcaster. Oh yeah, I forgot we were doing a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and that's fine. I don't mind going off topic. I really, I actually, I don't, I really don't mind going off topic. I wonder if people listening care if we go off topic. I feel like. People, I don't some people know. don't because because there'll be there'll be comments where there'll be comments where people will uh people will say something about something that we said near the very end mm -hmm. like <laughs> the, the the my favorite comment of the last one that we got was uh was wait what was the picture you guys were talking about can you at least post the link <laughs> like the picture that i didn't post you know mm -hmm. yeah um, so we know that person made it to the very end, so that's good. No, um, yeah, I see a lot of, like, people asking about the end conversation, because that's typically when we're the most tired. <laughs> so it's just, we just blab on about things, and yeah. Yeah, I like I like. It gets interesting at the end. Like, because right now it's like, it's 2 a.m. for me, it's midnight <laughs> for you, you know? It's, it's, it's we're just going to talk about weird things. <laughs> it's just yeah. the way things are. Yeah. And I don't mind. 
I don't know. No, I enjoy it. It's just more of, should we record things like that? <laughs> I feel like we've said, I mean, I feel like half of the conversations that we have, because we'll talk right now, and there are times that we talk, and then, like, we'll end the podcast, and then we'll keep talking for a while longer, you know? And then, mm-hmm. <laughs> and we'll say things there that, some things I'm like, I wish I could record this. Um, and sometimes I'm like, thank God we didn't record this. Or it'll be like... Blackmail. No, I'm kidding. Huh? I said blackmail. Blackmail. <laughs> He's actually Batman. Um, yeah, but so a lot of times I'll, I'll be like, oh man, I wish, you know, I wish we could... Re- I think because like we i think i discussed i told you i basically spoiled the nemu fight after mm-hmm. the podcast ended cuz during the podcast you asked me not to spoil it but then afterwards i ended up spoiling it anyway yeah um and that was bbs related but we didn't record it um and yeah there's some things that i'm just like you know we probably shouldn't say this out loud you know what i have things to tell you <laughs> write them down I want to, oh no! I, I remember hear. them. Don't worry, they're saved in my phone. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they're saved in your phone. Oh no. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Be careful. We the land in the wrong hands. All right. So should we end it there so I can go ahead and hear what this is? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, we're at forty-six minutes. Yeah, we we've been going for a while now. Anyway, so. There's also not a lot of news in the in the game right now. I just wanted to talk about Senna's ribbon and possible accessories. The accessories that we didn't talk about. <laughs> exactly. Well, we talked oh, yeah. about some of it, and then we talked about the chair, and mm. we talked about Yoruichi, and we talked about a spot of Santa. <laughs> yeah. Right, we should we we should end it though. Anything else you want to say? Um, no, just K-Lab, if you're watching, I need that Santa Grimm Jout and that female <laughs> fan service. Please and thank you. I'm not asking. <laughs> Ask the question immediately says she's not asking. All right. Thank you guys for listening. I am tired. Good night. <laughs> Bye.